bantamweight matchup between Henry Cejudo and Bruce Lee. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo to now we should have been to the championship between Bruce Lee and Henry Cejudo. You guys will like it. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, here he is, the UFC Bantamweight Champion. He has successfully defended the title in the past. A decidedly different challenge, though, here tonight. Prevailing wisdom is that this will be his toughest title defense to date. The odds suggest that this is a close matchup on paper, but he believes he's one of the GOATs, one of the greatest of all time. If you want to be that, certainly got to make good on this title defense tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of World. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. side going to be interesting to see how long it's going to up right I mean Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC this guy resembles him in a number of ways let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch 
Oh, just misses with the kick. Circling to his right. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. You got to check these low leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kicker. Right hand now just misses. Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Lee. Just over two minutes to go. All oh, collar tie. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Henry Cejudo. I need you to get that takedown now. Punch is blocked. Let's get that Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Oh, big roundhouse attempt. Just misses. Wow, what a head kick. with that right hand. Whips on that offering. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. exchange in the pocket. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. Are you ready? You ready? 
All right, let's get to round two. What a punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the setup punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Going for the head kick. No dice. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Spinning back fist. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Cejudo. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just over three minutes now to go. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. 38 total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. And landing with 30% accuracy, not great, against Henry Cejudo. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big kick lands. Just over two minutes to go. That shot is blocked by Cejudo. Not there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Dig and kick. Right hand upstairs. Cejudo circling now towards the left. Nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lee gets the takedown. Useful. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. you got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Let's try it. Let's try it. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's, oh, he might have got him with a choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was...
was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Back and forth we go. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just misses with the right. Blocks the shot. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Just unable to quite find that range. Now connects with the right. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Just missed with the left there. Well, we call on the fight stats here. These numbers unofficial, but 61 total strikes have landed for Henry Cejudo. And the accuracy rate about 42% now against Henry Cejudo. Just misses there with the left. Look at him drive the shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Trying to kick the leg out. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Checks that leg kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big punch land. Ooh. 90 seconds remain in the round. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Let's go. Let's get the takedown. Big leg kick lands. Come on, man. Let's get that takedown. Oh, big knee there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Under one minute remains in round three. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. 
All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, nice knee for the body, just what he needed there. Big punch from the clinch. Fifteen seconds. And he landed the right hand there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go with that extra 10 minutes. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Missed with that attempt. Okay, hey, cover up. Big body kick lands. Just missing on the high kick there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice punch, man. Big knee there. Both guys landing with conviction now. This fight's gonna be over. DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. That kick blocked by Lee. Unable to connect there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Unable to connect with nice the right hand. Nice entry into the finish, the record. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Full 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to throw. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this. He won't finish this fight. Back mount now. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Now the guy's got arm bar, he's attacking it on him. Attacking arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be this off to an angle. This might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good number. Pretty good round, but not the best. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. posture here now trying to hip escape he's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom strong bottom work here staying busy well he's able to get back up here but oh man is he on wobbly legs please lower oh huge right hand oh got it Gets back up. No surprise there. Big kick land. with that straight left hand. Let's get going now. Big kick land. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Oh, man, look at that. Victor perfect. Oh, he's attacking choke now. And this might just be a matter of time. Guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kaboras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. 
Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the top. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been lights out. Circling to his right. tonight it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right we'll take a look back at the highlights you know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion. So there it is. Bruce Buffer makes it official. We have a new UFC Bantamweight champion. Seems like everything he said to us in our fighter meeting on Thursday came to fruition here on fight. He was so confident that he was going to get the job done. This was one of the best performances in a title fight that I've ever seen a challenger have to become champion.